Hi everyone, Jim Laverde with This Old Coach Everything RV. And uh, boy, I've just been through the mill trying to figure out what's wrong with my RV. I had a no start situation where I turned the key on and no dash lights, uh, no power to the motor, no nothing. And I just wanted to help you guys if you come across this in your RV, you could be out camping, you could be thousands of miles away. Again, you turn on your key and there was nothing. There was just no power to anything, no accessories. And uh, I wanted to show you how I fixed that. And uh, it was very simple. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing I did, and this is what you should do, you gotta start at the battery and you work backwards. So I got me a multimeter here and I went to test to make sure that the battery had at least 12 volts. And you can see that the, nothing wrong with this battery. So um, the second thing I did was I took these connectors and I replaced, uh, I cleaned up these wires. I cut them back a little bit because there was corrosion in them. So both of these wires I cut back and I put them, I put a new, uh, these new battery terminals, positive and negative, and made sure that those were working properly and uh and they were and so but uh i crawled up underneath and you're going to see what i did up underneath and there was the answer to my problem okay so now you see that i am underneath my coach underneath the front tire on the passenger side and what i did was i followed these leads um you have this is your positive and this is your negative and they wrap around here and they go up to this junction box right there. You see that? So these little plastic things come off, these little protectors, they both came off. And um, I unplugged or I unscrewed um, those two bolts. And I also took off this connector connecting right here. When I took all that stuff off, there was tons of corrosion in there. And so I cleaned them out. I used this, uh, this contact cleaner and, uh, and a wire brush, but I started with the wire brush and brushed off. Uh, I took the bolts off and I brushed uh, all the debris and the corrosion off there. I put it all back together and let's see what happened. All right, so I'm back in the side of the RV and voila, turn it, lights come on, starts right up. And uh, before I clean those connections, it was turn the key, nothing. So I am excited that I didn't have to have a mobile mechanic come out, fix it myself, and it's something you can do for yourself. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Listen, if it's something you can do on your own uh, with just a few tools, some a little bit of uh, you know contact cleaner wire brush and some uh, sockets you know crawl up underneath that rv and follow back from the battery like i did started with the battery went to the terminals followed the terminals back to that that junction box and when i took the nuts off the, the junction box that's where i found the culprit that's where the gremlins were and as soon as i put it cleaned them up put them back on the thing fired right back up you might be far away from your uh, home on an RV trip. And if you got an older coach like I do, you know, you could really, uh, you know, save yourself a lot of grief and effort by just, uh, you know, following it back from the battery and, and making sure a lot of times I've heard like 80% of the time that the problem is a ground, uh, a bad ground, which is very possible. But this one wound up being on the positive side and it turned out to be a positive situation for me. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. I know I haven't posted it up in a long time, but uh, anytime I come across an issue in an RV, uh, I'll, you know, I like to film it and to help you out. So love to hear your comments and subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time.